It's an interesting commentary that the wild horse who cannot be touched is this comfortable mm -hmm. walking into a loud, scary, slippery place. Mm -hmm. And the domestic horse who's had extensive training by humans, aka trauma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In other words. Yeah. Is she having more to be afraid of. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because humans have mucked her up more. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that's super interesting to me. He had zero hesitation. Oh. Straight in. Yep. Zoe was really scared about coming into the trailer. So we let Makai in here so he could show her how easy it is. What do you think, Zozie? Peeking around the corner there. How are you going to get in here, though, now that he's in here? She's like, I'm not. I lost. She lost her chance, hey? She tried. She tried. She tried. She tried so hard. She did. I could feel her body language. Yeah. Huh, big mama? You did good, Zozy. Yeah, you did good. Super brave. You better give some to Big Mama, too. <laughs> I can feel that in the back of my head. Yeah, it's like, you better get me some of that. It's going to be some trouble. Tia's, Tia's sitting there going, great. How am I ever getting out of here? <laughs> Tia, are you stuck in there now? <laughs> She's like, I'm chill. As long as he doesn't walk towards me, I'm good. Because him and I have just hung out, like where T is. I've just sat at the back there, mm -hmm. and he's come in when he feels like it, and not when he doesn't. And there's been no pressure and no nothing. And same with the horse trailer. Mm -hmm. He comes in, he comes out. I don't care. It's up to him. Mm -hmm. So there's no trauma associated with these structures and these caves and these step ups and slippery things, and because yeah. everything's been done at his authority. So no fear. No. And she, who's been trained for all kinds of things in her younger years, has a lot of fear. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, I know. You're not. And she'll walk straight in. <laughs> and she'll walk straight in. I wonder if Cobra would go in. I wonder. Because. Oh, yeah. He, he probably would. Because he's totally fine with trailers. I bet you he'd go in. Kalia, maybe, maybe not. She doesn't really like dark spaces that much. Big Mama's been in, but um, yeah, you don't. You, she finds it really tight to turn around in there, so it's not her favorite. But she will. So Zoe needs to see him come out. I think. Maka, can you not like take from the fresh one? So do you want to go in there and just really gently ask Maka to come out? Only what feels good though, right? Follow the energy. He's not gonna let it come out. No, you gotta get on the other side of him and ask him to leave and tell him that he can come back in again. You watching that, Zoe? Yeah, you see how he came out? Now watch how he goes. Watch how he goes back in again. <laughs> Just inches up, the little feet inching closer, inching closer. Sure, I will. And everybody's watching. Everybody's learning. Not just the Maka. Yeah, I know, Odie. I know.
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get him out and put him with some alfalfa over here and then let's see what Zoe does now that he's shown her how to go in and out and how chilled out it can be. Sweetie come. I'm gonna move this outside for you. Okay? Come on. Come on, handsome. Come on. No, not you. Yep. She felt so scared. She lost sight of him and she was following the alfalfa. And I'm trying to get her out. Come on, Zo. Come on, Zo. Come on out. Oh, come over here, sweetie. this area clear totally and clear you don't think she'll go in if he's no, even right if here he's here to pressure her she won't go in what if he's all the way over here i'll put a little bit in there and go there okay. i know what i know i know i know solution just arrived no no no, no. don't push it out come on go you come out of there space are so different from theirs yes and that's why i like to do this stuff on halter with no whips because then they get to choose and and speak We now take him in here. Is she gonna then stay where she is? I'll move this stuff out of the way. There you go, bud. No. <laughs> what happened to your alfalfa? Okay, watch that again. This is the point where Maka makes his choice because what you need to know is he is higher ranking than Zora. So it is 100% his choice to follow the wheelbarrow filled with the thing that they both want and he chooses not to. And Zora is only free to go because he stopped and gave her the space. So that was clearly his choice. You know what? Now we're gonna do this. <laughs> 
Oh, this is fun. Now Zoe is thinking, why would I go in the scary trailer when I could just have know, right? this alfalfa? So now I'm going to wait to see if he is going to move her. What you going to do, bud? Agenda and they don't like my agenda. Yep. They're like, your plan sucks compared to our plan. <laughs> our plan is she goes there and she's happy. He goes here and He goes back in there. <laughs> Fine. Zoe is, Zoe is done pushing her courage for the day. Yeah, exactly. And and that could be it, right? Is both of them are saying we're actually done for today. Yeah. So again, the benefit of doing this kind of exploration unhaltered no whips no ropes yeah because they 100% get to speak but I've been speaking mm -hmm. right I've been saying how about this and I want this and I want that like nobody's been limiting my expression yes um but no one's been limiting theirs either yeah so that's why this is what I prefer <laughs> look at all these guys <laughs> and they're like and when do we get to play with the alfalfa yeah so because. now the next time we invite these guys in to play, mm -hmm. um, they're going to be quite happy about that opportunity. Mm -hmm.